There's only one positive thing that comes out of a narcissistically abusive relationship. And that is that you get really good at putting up strong boundaries with people. Narcissists violate your boundaries almost from the get-go. They test you immediately. Because if you're able to put up strong boundaries to begin with, you can't get into a narcissistic relationship. That relationship would end immediately. And then they guilt you and they gaslight you into violating your boundaries over and over and over again until you are a shell of a person. They guilt you for saying no. They make you feel like you can never say no to any of their requests. But you absolutely can and you should. And there is nothing wrong with putting up a firm and direct boundary in a kind way. When you're with a narcissist, no should be your best friend. At first, it's going to be really hard to say no to them, and then it gets really easy, and then it gets kind of fun. Because the word no is how you gain control back over your life. You have a life free of shame and guilt when you say no to the things that you don't want to do, unapologetically. No, I will not have this conversation right now. I have to go to bed. No, I will not quit my job. No, I don't want to be friends after we break up. No, I can't give you money for that. No, I'm not going to let you call me these names. I will exit the relationship. You're never under any obligation to do something that you don't want to do. Unless it's going to break the law or something. How do you get really good at saying no, though? Well, you have to stop falling for the constant guilt trips that the narcissist use on you. They try to make themselves the victim. They try to tell you that saying no to them is mean when it's not. If they're trapping you in hours-long conversation that is getting nowhere and telling you that, that you're giving up on them, if you walk away, you have got to walk away. Don't fall for it. If they're bullying you into doing something that you don't want to do, you cannot do it. If they are guilting you and making you lose sleep, you've got to prioritize your sleep. To stop feeling that guilt for saying no, Really ask yourself, what am I feeling guilt for? Because you are in a self-preservation mode and you have to put your needs above the narcissist. That's the only way you can survive as you continue to get out and try to go no contact.